guys. It's brew day for Chubby and happy homebrew Wednesday as well because this will be my homebrew Wednesday. I am be brewing today and as you can see it's quite a nice uh, winter morning. It's been storming all week. We've been having 100 to 120 kilometer winds all week which I know the guys down in Wellington will say oh that's not much but up here we're not used to that. But yeah <clears throat> so beautiful weather great day for brew day. So I'm brewing my Pale Death Ale version 2. Um, changed up the malt bill a little bit, changed the hop uh, additions also. But yeah, it is 8 30. I'm pre warming the mash tun and I'm still tired. I need some coffee. But I'm gonna see if I can get everything set up, try and get my mash, and then have my cup of coffee. So I wanna try and make this brew day quite short. If possible, it's all green. Mm. But yes, so carry on watching, guys. That's gonna be a good one. Well, hopefully not too long. So, yeah. As you can see, beautiful winter weather. Ooh, look at that sky. So, see you guys in a bit. Mm. Hey guys. So, it has been, I have mashed. I didn't show you this, this stuff because you all know what mashing looks like. So I was aiming for a temp of 76, no, 67. 67 degrees for my mash temp. And I got 66.3, which isn't ideal, but it's pretty damn close. So as you can see, oh yes, it is mashing. My ghetto warmer, let's try and keep it warm, it's still a bit chilly out here. So it's been mashing for all, about 60 minutes, so I'm gonna start vol offing, and hopefully I can clear it out. Or it'll clear out nicely with not a lot of grains. So one of the things I did to hopefully improve this is that I actually had some netting that um, Dean Chuginos kindly gave to me so what I did is I put that around my false bottom and tied it onto the pipe and hopefully that'll help filter out just the bigger bits as well and hopefully get my water a little bit clearer but I think I'm pretty much my pocket is vibrating Ooh. it's time for me to start wall offing so let me get cracking to that and maybe I'll show you some of that but otherwise I'll see you in a snap hey fellas right don't put a grain bag on your domed false bottom. Learned the hard way. So put the, the grain bag on the dome bottom so hopefully I'll filter it out. And all it did was a major block sparge. I mean, so bad that I actually had to take everything out of the mash tun, put it into another pot, take the grain bag off, put everything back in, and then try and recirculate. So I lost lots of heat. I, luckily, I think I'd have converted, but still, it's a pain in the ass. So, I'm trying not to do new things on brew days because I seem to fuck them up. So now, as you can hear from the raw, I'm getting my uh, batch barge water up and running. I am busy uh, draining the mash tun now, and hopefully, I hit my numbers. Seriously. Oh well, we'll see how this brew turns out. I think it's still all right. We'll see. But yeah, I'll get back to you once I have something else to tell. Right now, I'm just fucked off. But hey, we're here loving you learn, all right? Okay, so I'll see you guys in a little bit, and as you can see, the weather's turned to shit. Okay, so you know what back, but guys, so we're back. We've got to the boil, but I'm doing a 75 minute boil on this, so we're in 15 minutes, and I'll be adding the first hop addition, which I will show you. As you can see, got a bit of blue sky again. Not very cold, I'm in short sleeves. But time to start cleaning up and definitely need to uh, brew more. Just not, I'm not getting hitting my stride of my brewing at the moment. But eh, somehow I just brew a lot, lot of smash beers, I'm guessing. But you know, don't, don't think you want to hear about this. Let me get cracking and get in this bowl and start cleaning. Oh joy, cleaning. Okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. Well, I'll see you at first hop edition, which is Pacific Jade. Hey guys, 60 minute edition. Oh, Pacific Jade, really nice uh, buttering up. So I'm gonna add that to the beer, and then I'll see you in about 45 minutes for the next uh, hop edition, yeast nutrients, and Irish moss. So, cool. Some of the green stuff in the baggie. Hey guys, time to add Irish moss and yeast nutrients. Tell you how. Ooh. 
soapy style. So, that's been added in five more minutes and then we're adding the last hop or second last hop edition. So, let's get to cracking. See you in a bit, guys. 10 minute edition. Hey guys, we're back. And it's end of brew day. We are now chilling it and trying to get down to pitch and temperature. It's going a bit quicker, but I definitely get a, need to get a bigger one. Maybe this is what she said. Um, nah, it's just, I got a very small uh, immersion cello, which is a little bit too small for this that size pot. But it's doing what it has to right now, so I'm waiting for that to chill down enough so I can put it into the fermenter, then I'll aerate it, and hopefully I can pitch the yeast. I'm pitching one packet of US05 yeast, which I think will be perfect for this. Still waiting for the cocooner so I can get um, a sample, so I can check my gravity, and then once I got all that, I'll tell you what, what's what. Okay? Okay? Don't rush me now. See you guys in a bit. Don't rush me. Alright. <clears throat> Water has been chilled. A boom, and it's being transferred. Yeah, Ooh, took there, not there. Yeah. yeah, so it's transferring across. I checked. I just did a quick check on the final gravity. Well, final gravity, starting gravity. Um, I think it might still be a little bit warm, so I saw a uh, temperature. Oops, sorry, temperature check it, but it looks like I came out two points under my aim, or my gravity, or my target. My target was 10.51 and I got, looks like I got 10.48, maybe 10.50, so not too bad, that's pretty damn close I reckon, so even with all my funk ups today, it looks like it still come out, but let's see if we hit my volumes. So far so good, but we have to wait and see. And also, put your hands down guys, looks like I'm about to kick the Igor double IPA. It was a good beer. Better than I was expecting. We'll have to make that again. It'll be an expensive beer, but it'll be a, it's a damn good beer. I have sent out some already. I have sent one to Grant Baker, one to Paul Wicksteed, and one to Ian, who is the head, head brewer, owner of Black Sands Brewery, so I can get some feedback from them, those guys as well. Um, I do have some more. I have the big bottle to go down to Manawa Brew. I will be sending that soon, maybe this week. And I've got a bottle for Zane Maxwell. So that will be coming to you as well. Just trying to get the finance together to send down to the South Island, which is freaking expensive. But yeah, I'm transferring across. Then I'm going to hydrate my yeast, chunk it in, and hope for the best. See how it goes. The next big thing I'm going to do is decide if I want to dry hop it a little bit. I think not. And also how I'm going to clear it because I don't really have time to let it sit in the cold and let it clear up. Or might do. Because I am playing a stout after this. So, so I've got two kegs that are free or about to be free. Two beers. Ooh. So I'm going to think I'm going to do a stout next. But yeah, it's. I've got to figure out how I'm going to clear it out. So I'm going to try. I've tried findings. Mm, it's alright. Time because the uh, Eagle Double IPA came out really really good. It was starting to really clear up. Sorry, I'm just getting sore. So that, that was clearing up quite nicely. Oh, it was this beautiful ruby red. The colour was spectacular. If you have a look at the Shadow Beast page on Facebook, you'll see some pictures of it just before I kicked it and it was looking fantastic. Um, so yes, I might try, I might try some gelatin. Uh, quick question for you guys. Do you guys just use the gelatin from the shop that you use to make food with, or is there a specific gelatin that you use? And how many of you guys use the gelatin? Give me that. Technology, I really hate it. Cool. So yeah. Ooh. So I'm gonna hit my volumes. So yes, yeah, so if you guys can let me know down below what uh, what you use to clear, that'll be great. Uh, and you know, what's your process? Because I can chill it. I can get down quite nice and cold but then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chill it, clear it, put it into a keg, carb it up and then put it aside for a couple of weeks because I gotta brew a stout next so I can fill up the other keg and I'll have two kegs up and running oh yes a nice hoppy pale ale and a nice I'm thinking chocolate multi stout oh yes but keep a look out that will be coming up soon as well as another brew day 
Ooh. I might get over my amount with hidden new things. Sweet. So yeah, um, I'm gonna leave you guys here. I want to thank you all to my subscribers. I've got a few, but a whole bunch of other guys subscribing up to my channel now. Thank you very much, guys. I really do appreciate it. Um, I try and put out stuff. In the next two weeks, I might not put out any videos just because it's coming up to the busy season in the bookshop at the university because second semester is starting. So I'm going to be flat out. Um, so I might not put out videos, but wait and see. Uh, Go to the Facebook page for Shadow Beast Brewery, like it, and you'll see some updates. I've put up updates there. But yeah, just thanks, guys. Thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for commenting. I really do appreciate the commenting. The comments. Yes. Sorry, I'm tired. Um, but yeah, I'll leave you guys here. Remember, keep it epic. Keep it metal. Drink beer. And brew beer. Even if you do funk it up every once in a while. You learn from mistakes. Ooh, and that's the end of the, the thing. So, cheers guys. Remember, smoochies.